I heart, get ready. Fantasy football is here. Welcome to the Scout Fantasy Show. ScoutFantasy.com is home to the Fantasy Football World Championships and the best players in the world. Real money winners giving their secrets to help you win. Now exclusively on iHeart. This is the Scout Fantasy Show with your host, the one, the only, Dr. Roto. Hey there, everybody. It's Dr. Roto. Get out the insurance cards. Get out the copay. The office is open, my friends. So today, I want to talk to you about a scout fantasy expert draft that's been going on. It was a slow draft with a lot of big names, uh, both part of scout fantasy sports and and outside. So we had Scott Atkins involved. Scott's a really good player. We had Matt DeLima. He's the editor at Scout Fantasy Sports. Darren Sumner, uh, the two-time fantasy football world champion. Corey Parson, the fantasy exec. Mark Deming, former number one player, Adam Ronis, Fuego Steve Hillman, myself, Dr. Roto, Steve Renner, TFS expert, Matt Brandon, editor at Scout Fantasy Sports, Bill Enright from FFChamps.com, and Sean Childs, the fantasy rain man from Scout Fantasy Sports. So this was a very, this is a heavy hitter draft. No bad picks here. Everybody... Trying to make the trying to win, no, right? Because this is this is you know we have industry draft, but this is like your, your job draft, right? So you really want to make sure that you do a good job. So let's take a look at lineup construction, what teams did, how the draft went down. The first round went like this: it was Gurley, Bell, Elliott, Brown, Kamara, David Johnson, Barkley, Hunt, Hopkins, Gordon, Fournette, Beckham. Okay. Uh, No real surprises there, except for the fact that I took Kareem Hunt. If we had to do this draft over again, I don't know if I would have. I know that he's been going later in drafts, but at the time I liked the pick. I really wanted Saquon Barkley, and Fuego Sneef sniped sniped him for me, so I wasn't very happy. Round two was McCaffrey, and then Dalvin Cook, Julio Jones-Roto, Michael Thomas, Devontae Adams, A.J. Green, Keenan Allen-Roto, Jarek McKinnon, Devonta Freeman, Joe Mixon, Mike Evans, and Jordan Howard. So 15 running backs went in the first two rounds. I think that is a very safe expectation um, as we move forward. Probably somewhere between 13 and 15 will go. That's the right number. So let's look at each team. Let's look at lineup construction, see what they did, and see if they have a reasonable chance of winning this league. Scott Atkins drafted number one. His team was Deshaun Watson and Jared Goff. Like that. That's really good. Todd Gurley, Jordan Howard, Duke Johnson, Jamal Williams, Chris Carson, Kalen Ballage. Not bad. I mean, obviously Gurley. The the big key there is Howard and Duke Johnson because there is a committee going on. He's got T.Y. Hilton, Corey Davis, Josh Gordon, Robbie Anderson, Cameron Meredith, Paul Richardson. Ah, Those are good receivers. Uh, he's got George Kittle and Tyler Eifert. It's a pretty darn good team. Scott's a very good player. I think uh, if he gets good running back play, he will be a very difficult team to beat this year. Matt DeLima, team two. Took Tom Brady in round nine and then Tyrod Taylor in round 16. I guess I worry about Tyrod Taylor there, especially if Baker Mayfield's coming. But maybe he'll take Mayfield with the last pick. His running backs are Le'Veon Bell, Ronald Jones, Carlos Hyde, Bilal Powell, Elijah McGuire. we got issues. Houston, we've got a problem. I don't think you can win without, especially when I'm getting reports that Ronald Jones can't pass protect. That's not good. You can't pass protect. You don't play in the NFL. Uh, His receivers are Evans, Thielen, Cooks, Garcon, Lee, Sanu. That's pretty solid. I like that core. I think he's got a weakness, though. He's got Jimmy Graham and Burton, a joke. He's got a lot of tight ends. And that's okay. I know that sounds ridiculous to have four tight ends, but we play two flex spots. And he's going to probably have to use those and not use his running backs because his running backs stink. All right, Darren Sumner, the two-time fantasy football world champion, takes... Aaron Rodgers in round six. Carson Wentz in 11. Wow, that's something to get better than that, to be quite honest with you. Ezekiel Elliott, Joe Mixon, Theo Riddick, Gio Bernard, Peyton Barber, Jalen Samuel. So he's got two really good running backs. And then with Riddick and Bernard, he takes guys who catch passes. I like it. Then he's got Baldwin, Cup, Crowder, Ridley, Deshaun Jackson, Tyrell Williams. I think he's one receiver short unless Ridley turns out to be real deal. 
He's got Kyle Rudolph. It's a good team. I don't know if it's a great team, but it's, it's okay. Corey Parson, the fantasy exec, takes Russell Wilson around seven, takes Ben Roethlisberger in 14. Like that a lot. He's got Devonta Freeman, Darius Geis, Deion Lewis, James White, Devonta Booker, and Spencer Ware. I mean, look, I'm not, Geis needs to be good. When you're taking Geis as the fourth pick in the third round, he better be good. Uh, exec has Antonio Brown, Sammy Watkins, Devin Funches, Rashard Matthews. He's got Zach Ertz. I'm not loving those receivers there. I'm not big on Funches. I'm not big on Matthews. Sammy I like. I don't love. I think I would have taken a couple other guys there instead. But, I mean, look, Fantasy Exec is a great player. I'm sure he's going to be tough to beat. Mark Deming, the former world's number one player. This was a very interesting draft by him. Deming does not take his first quarterback until round 18 where he takes Case Keenum. I've seen that happen a lot and I think it's an interesting strategy. So what Mark did here was he took Kamar and McKinnon right off the bat and then he went Hill, Landry, Sanders, Goodwin, Nelson, DJ Moore, Kelvin Benjamin. He just got receiver after receiver, receiver. He had a Tyre Montgomery, Matt Breida, Eckler. Uh, I like this team a lot. My problem with this team is he waited on tight end, so Dallas Godert is his guy, and he waited on quarterback with Keenum. I don't know whether you can wait on two guys. I much would have rathered him stepped up and maybe taken Trey Burton or George Kittle. Like instead of Danny Amendola, if he took Kittle, I'd like this team a lot more. It's it's a ballsy move, and I'm glad Deming did it. It's something that I'm going to play around with in one of my drafts. I'm sure of it. I'm going to do some something like this. All right, Adam Ronas always has good drafting luck. Ronas takes Matthew Stafford in 13 and Phillip Rivers in 16. I have no problem with that. His running backs are David Johnson, Alex Collins, Marshawn Lynch, Isaiah Crowell, Kenneth Dixon. Uh, I like getting Dixon to pair up with Collins. Crowell is solid in round nine. Johnson's good. He's got Keenan Allen, Stephon Diggs, Marvin Jones, Chris Hogan, Kenny Stills. Solid. Solid as a rock. Uh, Jordan Reed and Ricky Seals-Jones. You know Ronas is going to be competitive. He's going to make the moves during the year. I like what he did. So far, I like his draft and I like Scott's draft the most. Fuego Steve Hillman starts out with Andrew Luck as his only quarterback in round 10. He did not get another quarterback. That might be a problem, right? Um, Then he's got Barkley, Henry McCoy, Yeldon, and Ivory. And then he's got Jonathan Stewart. So Barkley, and he covered him with Stewart. McCoy, and he covered him with Ivory. Derek Henry's nice. His receivers are A.J. Green, Alshon Jeffrey, Michael Crabtree, Mike Williams, Nelson Aguilar, John Ross, Ryan Grant. It's not bad. Jack Doyle. This is not a bad team. I want. He's going to need Barkley to be really good. And he's going to need Mike Williams to step up. So he's got some question marks, but they're good question marks. All right, my team, the Road of the Visionary Squad. I took Jimmy Garoppolo in round 10. I took Patrick Mahomes in round 16. I'm good with those two guys. My running backs are uh, Kareem Hunt, Tariq Cohen, Kerryon Johnson, Niam Hines, Jordan Wilkins, uh, Chase Edmonds. Not thrilled. I need Cohen or Johnson. I need one of those guys to be good. My receivers are Devontae Adams, Juju Smith-Schuster, Larry Fitzgerald, Will Fuller, Alan Hearns, uh, I got uh, Taiwan Taylor, Chris Godwin later. I like that. I need Fuller or Hearns to be good. I took Gronk early. That was what I did. I didn't really want to take Gronk early, but I didn't like any of the other options there. Maybe retrospectively, I might have taken Demarius Thomas, but I liked getting Gronk, who was the best player at that position, and I was able to get Juju on the way back. All right, Steve Renner start, has Drew Brees in round seven and Mitch Trubisky in 16. I mean, Drew Brees what was... Probably a little bit earlier, but Renner's a Saints fan, so he got his guy. His running backs are Sony Michel, Rashad Penny, Royce Freeman. That is risky. Risky, risky, risky. And then he takes Nick Chubb later. You can't go for four rookies. They're all not going to be good. But he's got DeAndre Hopkins and Michael Thomas and Devontae Parker and then a bunch of retread receivers. He got two defenses. I don't know why he took two defenses. I think this team is too risky. He's got two really good receivers, Hopkins and Thomas, and then he's got a lot of risk. So I think this team could be 3-10, and 10, but he could be, you know, 9-4 uh, and four if they all hit. All right, Matt Brandon takes Cam Newton in round 9. You know what I think of Cam Newton. Ugh. And then he's got Derek Carr, who later on, who I do like. Um, Melvin Gordon, a big fan. Ajayi got in round 5. I like it. 
Uh, Aaron Jones was a steal in round 10. Uh, he, then he has Julio Jones, Golden Tate, Julian Edelman, Robert Woods, Des Bryant. So look, and he gets Cortland Sutton later, which is a really good pick. Edelman's needs to come back, and Bryant needs to find a job. If he has that, he's got five really good receivers. Jones, Tate, Woods, Edelman, Bryant. You know, he's close. He's on to something here. And he's got Travis Kelsey and Greg Olson. So Matt Brandon, maybe if Cam Newton plays well and Edelman comes back and Dez signs, he's a sneaky guy who can compete for a championship here. It's a good job by Matt Brandon. All right, Bill Enright takes Kirk Cousins in round 12 and no other quarterback. Uh, His running backs, Fournette, Cook, Drake, Ingram, Burkhead, Thompson. Love it. Love, love, love that core. He's got Allen Robinson, Randall Cobb, Sterling Shepard, Josh Doxson, Michael Gallup, Geronimo Allison. Risky. So he went all in on running backs, decent quarterback. He's got Ben Watson as a tight end, so he's weak at tight end. Weak at tight end, and he's got a lot of running backs, and he needs a receiver. So I like the team, but I don't love it. And then my man Sean Childs takes three quarterbacks at the end of this draft, which I love that idea. He takes Ryan Mariota and Eli Manning. He takes three tight ends, Engram, Braid, and Ebron. And then he loads up with his running backs are McCaffrey, Miller, Mack, Coleman, Luckett. He takes Dante Foreman later, and he took C.J. Anderson later. So he's covered McCaffrey and he's covered Miller. Smart. His receivers are Beckham, Demarius Thomas, Amari Cooper, Kenny Galladay, Anthony Miller. It's a pretty good team. I think he may be one receiver short, but I like what he did with multiple quarterbacks, multiple tight ends. He almost is treating this as a best ball. Now, here's the big thing. Sean needs to pick correctly every weekend. Sometimes I like to have one quarterback. If I have one quarterback, I don't have to worry about who to play. If I have multiple quarterbacks, I have to do a good job guessing. The good thing is, is that Sean Childs is one of the best players I know, and he will probably make the right pick every week. So Sean is always going to be competitive because that's how he rolls. All right, a couple other things. I want you to go to mockdraftnow.com. Go there now, start mocking. Get your practice in. Go to scoutdfs.com. Sign up now. Fuego, Steve, and I will be killing it during the football season. I'll be putting up my visionary picks. We'll be doing podcasts. You will get the information you need to win some money. And also, scoutfantasysports.com. Remember, that's where you go. You find me. You find Ronish. You find Sean Childs. You find the things you need to win a fantasy football championship. But right now, it's time to put away the insurance cards, put away the copay. The office is closed, my friends. Back with so much more. This is Dr. O saying be well and take care. Thanks for listening to the Scout Fantasy Show. There's never been a better time to join the Scout Army. Visit ScoutFantasy.com. Use the promo ROTO for two months free. And don't forget, fantasy players, please thumbs up the podcast on the iHeart app. See you next time. Go Scouts!